What is going on, all of you gaming legends out there? My name is Tyler, or Deathly, I am, and this is going to be another P4G team builder video going up against Psychomore's channel will be in the description below. And if you're watching this and it's not Sunday, June 3rd, um, you will find the link to the description that this match talks about in the description below as well. So, uh, hello. How you doing? Going up against the Paris Polytoads. Uh, kind of a contradiction since I'm the Seattle Rizzlers. So we have <gasps> Polytoad and Polyrath going at it. Mascot battle uh, to figure out who is going to be the best Mon. Best evolution. Uh, hint, it's Polyrath. Uh, going up uh, for this match. We're both currently 2 and 3. So, um, who will be 3 and 3 evening out the record after this battle? Find out uh, in the match. But let's go ahead and jump right into it because I know I tend to talk and drone on and on and on and on about things. So, um, this is his team. It's kind of nasty, bulky, whatever you want to call it. Um, disgusting. And I'm starting to learn how to team build. You guys are going to find out with my DSL league. Uh, my Deathly Subscriber League, that I am slowly starting to learn that, like, okay, so when I build my teams, I want to build things certain ways and have moves that counter Pokemon, and obviously, like, there's no hard counters. You want predicts and, like, bring, set up your Pokemon to for success in certain situations. Even with a randomized league, you can still do that in some regards. So, I'm going to go ahead and talk about his team a little bit here. Um, Nidoqueen. Typically don't run it with any speed investment by the looks of things here. Uh, mostly want it to be physically defensive, can be offensive. Most people bring it in as a stealth rocker, uh, but it also gets some stupid stab with uh, some sludge wave. Uh, the ice beam uh, isn't stab, but it's there to be annoying as hell. Um, and then earth power and a toxic potentially as well. Uh, this is just the standard Smogan sets. I'll keep repeating that every video so you guys are like, why aren't you building his team to match yours? Well, I don't freaking know how to what he could potentially bring. But um, actually, you know what? Let's let's do some things. So maybe... And just like that, we have some television studio magic. They're just magically up there. Um, I figured you guys would want to look at my team as we look at his team, and then we can go through and look at, of these 11 beautiful Pokemon above me, which ones we picked for my team build here. So, Nidoqueen, uh, Ice Beam obviously deals with Virizion, Talonflame, Rhyperior, and um, Glaceon. So, almost 100% sure that this thing's coming, and coming with Ice Beam. Registeel, um, not ideal for this team, uh, in a lot of ways, um, but Iron Wall, you guys know I ran it during my APA, um, Pokemon League battling debut, uh, and it allowed me to single-handedly beat Chase, because Reggie is just a disgusting wall of steel, the, uh, you know, wall of Briggs, if you will, for you <laughs> nerds out there like I am, um, so, uh, I'm 100% sure that this thing is potentially coming as well, um, Ice Punch would be for, like I said, my team has a lot of ice weaknesses. I would imagine that would come. Uh, another Rock Setter, EQ. My team is has some vulnerabilities to ground in both Empoleon and Muck, um, as well as Rhyperior. Uh, not really, a, eh, it just nothing really wants to eat a stabby ground uh, or some EQ spam. So uh, Registeel could potentially be coming. Uh, Alolan Persian, um, haven't really faced this too much in draft format, but I think that's kind of the whole point of this league is that you're going to run into things you normally wouldn't. Um, Parting Shot, um, I think it gets, uh, Fake Out to deal some damage, Taunt to prevent, um, setups, as well as, uh, any hazards and Toxic. I think this thing with Fur Coat, it, like, doubles its ability or doubles its defense, so I think it's just there to sit in front of things, parting shot out, and deal some hazard or some toxic damage and prevent setups. Rotom Mo, uh, Electric Grass, very unique typing in that regard. Volt Switch, Will O Wisp, Defog, and the ever present stab leaf storm. Um, again, kind of the thing to just like come in, clear rocks, leave, deal some chip damage with Volt Switch. Come in, clear rocks, deal with will wisp or to threaten out my um, uh, Rhyperior. Make sure that doesn't come in to get set up. 
Um, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Some issues with it there, for sure. Rotom is disgusting. I've never run them with Rotom, so I'm curious if there will ever be a day when I have a Rotom in my future. Uh, Swallow. Uh, guts, Flame Orb, Discount, Bird Jesus, if you will. Um, similar to Pidgeot in the normal flying typing. Uh, that's Stab, Boom Burst, the U-Turn, uh, Out, uh, potentially an Air Slash, Acrobatics, Brave Bird, whatever you want to run with it. Um, very, very fast Pokemon, something to be concerned with. His fastest Mon thus far. Wow. Lolan Persian's fast. Did not expect that. Uh, attack boost from Guts Flame Orb. And, um, obviously concerned for my Virizion. Um, you know, uh, my Shedninja. And, uh, I have to, I want to bring Shed one week, man. Just once. Just once. Can we bring Shedninja, please? Um, I don't know if it threatens out enough of my team to come. Uh, maybe he finds some other creative way to deal with Verizion, uh, in the form of Blaziken. Uh, firefighting obviously is stuck running Blaze, so it cannot, um, speed boost into us into infinity and beyond. Um, potentially running with Swords Dance to boost the already great attack stat into and skyrocket it. Uh, Flare Blitz. Flame Charge, I think it gets as well. Let's see. Uh, it does get Flame Charge, potentially to, to get it some extra speed as well. Um, high Jump Kick, obviously, uh, is there to deal with uh, Rhyperior and um, Empoleon um, and pretty much anything else. Uh, nothing really likes a High Jump Kick. Um, and I feel like I feel like I've seen, like, it's a 90% move. Isn't it? Like, I feel like I see it miss so freaking much. Uh, Hoopa coming on in to deal with uh, a couple of things. On Oh, oh. Okay, did everything just... There we go. All right, we'll edit that out. Um, I want to look at... Do, 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 do. Uh, my s week six stuff. Why won't I open this with no pen? Oh, wrong panel. What? Oh, that's why. That's the issue we did. Okay. Um. All right, so... Next up, we have Hoopa. Obviously, um, I don't know if this thing would come. Uh, deals with uh, threatening out Empoleon, Sheninja, not Empoleon, Espeon, Sheninja, um, my Verizion as well, um, with the Psychic to the Fighting, Psychic to the, uh, the Ghost to the Psychic. Um, can get really well set up with a uh, Substitute Nasty Plot. Um, gives it a chance to rip off a Focus Blast get set up, rip off uh, Shadow Ball, like, let something come in, and he at least has a chance to rip something before the sub gets detrimental. I mean, you guys know how subs work. What the hell am I saying? Uh, Lapras coming in as, uh, potentially as well. Um, not really anything. Like, obviously, uh, as we said, I think it's more of, would be a Scald counter to Empoleon um, to prevent him from spamming that with Water Absorb. Uh, as I said, a lot of my team is weak to ice, but um, I don't know if he brings an entire Pokemon with stab ice to potentially try and deal with me in that regard. Um, so I, I just don't see it potentially coming in that regard, but it does. I mean, it's countered by half my team. Um, it could kill Verizion, but I can also kill it with Verizion. So it's kind of a toss up in that regard um Dunsparce really uh I don't even think I worried about this thing at all in any of my calculations whatsoever um or even like prep for it in in any aspect uh Dunsparce is just kind of there as his forced blue pick um and as I think Lapras was as well um 
yeah, uh, leftovers, Serene Grace, uh, Coil for some setup, Rouge to heal up to get a better headbutt, and Glare to detrimentally, I mean, a Glare, Glare would be good, I mean, if he could come in and just glare at my entire team, just intense stares, um, we could have some problems. Malamar, the beautiful, wonderful evolution of Inke with that contrary, um, superpower, oh my god, contrary is so disgusting, uh, so kind of a big concern there with physical, uh, the, uh, physical sweeper set from Smogan, um, I have not run this thing, as you guys are well aware, so let me just look through and see, um, yeah, so, really, it doesn't threaten enough of my team, I think, for it to, to come, obviously, it does the same thing as Hoopa does, uh, with the Psychic, um, contrary superpower is more so what I'd be worried about than anything else, um, because it could deal with, um, so, some hefty damage out to Empoleon, Rhyperior, um, and, you know, we just, it just sucks, and then there's this stupid thing, um, Empoleon, Rhyperior, Verizion, Drampia, uh, Drampa and Glaceon are all threatened. Everything threatens Glaceon. It has no freaking HP. Um, by a Glade. Uh, every time he has brought Glade, he has let it. So, um, that was my thinking in prepping for this. So, I, I am genuinely interested if Glade comes. It's come four out of five weeks for Psychomore. Um, so this is the team I built for it. We're going to quick transition over because I have some sets that I don't want y'all to see. All right. What is going on, all you sexy people? Um, here is what we decided to bring versus his team. So, obviously, you can see the 11 mods we had to pull from here. Uh, Talonflame is coming with U-Turn, Natural Gift, once again, an Acrobatics, and a Flame Charge. So, uh, plus one priority, Gale Wings. Uh, the Ganlon Berry? Gan... Don Lawn, I have no idea how to pronounce that. Basically gives Natural Gift, gift Ice to deal with. Um, I should put his team here. Yes, let's let's do that thing. All right, there we go. Uh, movie magic once again, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, and in doing so, I realized that the reason I didn't prep Dunsparce was because uh, he had traded Giraffe for it, but that effect wasn't... Trade hadn't taken effect by the time it was our team. And my match, so, um, hello, Giraffig. Um, it is what it is. I'll give you the quick breakdown. Threatens Sheninja and Verizion, uh, countered by Alolan Muck, Empoleon, and Espeon, looking at our team here. So, um, there's the opponent's team, and this is what we built to deal with it. So, here is the Gonlon Berry Natural Gift to deal with his, um, Nidoqueen, Queen, uh, Rotom Mo, Swello, and I think Glade takes some big damage from that too. Um, we brought Empoleon as always, Akihito the Goat, because he's the Emperor of Japan. Um, thought about thought about Defiant, but I decided Torrent was too OP the last time we did it. But um, the Defiant would have been great for Parting Shot. Um, Persian, but um, decided Torrent, like, chaining an ability for one freaking Pokemon when Torrent could just get low HP, because he, he walls stuff so well, um, there's really no reason for me to do anything. Um, ice Beam to deal with again, like I said, there's some ice issues on his team, I can live a hit from Leaf Storm, and it gets takes reduced damage, he would most likely bring in Nidal Queen to follow that up, so just I could just hit Ice Beams over and over again and be good to go. Um, defog for any potential uh, rocks from Nidal Queen, and oh, this is weird. N these aren't actually on my screen. So Nidal Queen had rocks, Stealth Rocks also from um, Reggie Rock. So Reggie Steel, I lied. Uh, and Polian is always going to be paired with a Lolan Muck, uh, Solve S, Poison Touch, uh, Knock Off, Poison Jab to deal with. Um, Quite a few, uh, uh, primarily Glade, um, and uh, and poison anything else on his team outside of Registeel. Uh, fire Punch for the Registeel and a Power Up Punch. If he wants to sit in front of my Registeel uh, and just slam through some crap Earthquakes, uh, I'm going to abuse the Power Up Punch and, and get set up there. 
uh, knock off to get rid of some items and deal with that that beautiful beautiful stab. No need for any priority, I don't think this time around. Um, so uh, built it obviously with uh, as the bulky physical su suggested spread. Get out of here, uh, Benny Emo, our sweet potato Gligar, uh with an Eviolite immunity, um, rocks roost, rock slide EQ. Um, Primarily to deal with Glade again. We thought about acrobatics. I thought about acrobatics as my lead uh, with Gligar if he goes Glade. Um, so that was kind of one of my primary thoughts there. But uh, I was talked away from it. Decided I could lead Rocks if he goes Glade out of the gate. Because um, I would have lived an Ice Punch and then acrobatics, no item. Um, even with an Eevee Light, I think, would have killed uh, the goal of this match, my entire match, is going to revolve around one strategy, and that is kill Rotom Mo if it comes, and kill Glade if it comes, as well as Blaziken. If those three mons come, even just those two, um, and I have an opportunity to do so, we are going to Rock Polish, and we are going to sweep from there. I have Rock Z, I've got Rock Slide, I've got EQ, and a potential to set Rocks. If I can get up... Um, the 200 base speed or 198 um, with the uh, the um, rock polish, I can pretty much sweep his entire team um, outside of like a choice scarfed um, Rotom Mo, and we got plenty of answers for that. So that's that's why I want that thing down because once that's gone, um, we're good. We're in business, uh, and then Unagi is literally coming with an assault vest uh, just to. Um, threaten out a is uh, it's a counter rotor mo with the flamethrower. Uh, signal beam helps deal with um, yeah. Glade, and then um, the uh, Super Fang uh, is just to cut some damage in half if somebody with something with full health swaps in on it. Um, and then Volt Switch versus Momentum and Levitate to uh, deal with those nasty, nasty EQs. But yeah, that's the team, guys. So wish me the bestest of luckest in the uh, chat below. And you guys can check out the match tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend. You sexy, gorgeous, beautiful, wonderful gaming legends out there. Take care.